Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. This is going to be an ultimate guide over ships. I know the whole ship system in this game can be pretty overwhelming, especially when you're first starting, but hopefully after you watch this video, things will be more simplified for you on what to do. I'm going to be going over plenty in this video. First things first, let's go ahead and get into how to build ships. All you gotta do is find a ship services technician. You can find them at spaceports. Here's where one of them is located at, at New Atlantis. This is one of the first NPCs that you come across, so you should be familiar where this guy is. That's why I'm doing it here, because most players will know where this guy is located at, at New Atlantis. But yeah, once you talk to him, all you have to do is go to, I'd like to view and modify my ships. And I'm gonna be switching over to the frontier ship, which you can figure out how to do that at the top here. So I just gotta tap RB. And here is the frontier ship. Now I'm gonna be deleting everything on the ship and start from scratch, just so you all can start from scratch as well and you know learn how to properly build your ship. There are certain requirements that you need for your ship to be able to actually use them. So yeah, now we're just gonna go ahead and tap X, which this will take us to the ship builder. You can see that at the bottom here. There's different options that you can choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap X. Now I'm going to just delete everything on the ship by tapping X. We're gonna be keeping this simple too, just so you all can easily follow along and hopefully better understand ship building and whatnot after this video. So let's go ahead and tap A to add. If you're on the Xbox, you can see the options of what you have to press at the bottom right there. Now what I'm gonna add first is the bay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this and then select it. Then I'm gonna move it up, which you can figure out how to move it up and down at the right over there. So it's up on D-pad or down on D-pad on the Xbox. And I'm going to place it there. Also, it's important to know how to zoom in and out. Uh, right trigger and left trigger is how you zoom in and out on the Xbox. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, you can choose to flip your bay by pressing Y on the Xbox. You can see how to do that at the bottom right once again, as you can see. And there's not many options that you get to choose from with your bay, so that's the reason why I'm doing this first. It saves a little bit of a headache in the future of placing it. Now then, once you got your bay, to add more to your ship, you just wanna hover off the selected, and you can then add more by tapping A. So next up here, I'm going to be adding a few haps which you can navigate through the selections by tapping RB or LB. You can see at the top right, which you have to press. The halves are, you know, your interior configurations. This is basically what you'll be walking through within your ship. You can also do like second stories if you want or third stories, but keep in mind the more you do add, the more you're gonna have to add to your ship to actually get it to be able to fly. Like you're gonna have to add more engines and et cetera, et cetera, because your ship's going to end up weighing more. So that's important to keep in mind. It can become pretty pricey. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add another hab there, which by the way, you can duplicate your items by pressing Y. You can see what you have to press at the bottom. There's quite a few options to choose from. So yeah, I'm gonna add those two halves there. And I'm gonna go back to add again. And I'm gonna add this hab on both sides. I'm gonna be keeping it super small, super small. Just so it's simple and easy to understand. So yeah, that's my frame of my ship basically now. Anyways, next up here, let's go ahead and add our cockpit which different cockpits allow you to hold more crew members on your ship. There's not a lot of selections at this ship services technician. Keep that in mind, there is other ship services technicians that you can talk to on different planets. I'll be showing more about how to add more crew members further in this video, so stay tuned for that if you are interested in that. Also, different cockpits make you so you can hold more cargo, but that's not really important because I'll be getting into how to increase your cargo in the future. There's other things you can add to increase your storage. So I'm just gonna select this one. You know, before I place this cockpit, I'm going to flip my bay, the bottom of my habs here, and add my cockpit right here. Bam. So now we got that going on. Next up, let's get into the dockers. This is how you're gonna be able to 
dock with and board vessels or star stations. Just gonna be keeping it simple and adding this. And I'm gonna put it underneath this. Which once again, to flip the object, you just press Y if you're on Xbox. All right, next, let's get into the engines. Engines are really important. This is how you're able to fly your ship. So yeah, I'm gonna add an engine right there. And I'm also gonna put the same one on the other side as well. Like that. All right, now let's go to our fuel tanks. Fuel tanks are important to plot longer courses or to travel further without stopping. So it's definitely beneficial to have good fuel on your spaceship because you'll be able to fast travel further. So I'm gonna add a fuel tank on this side and a fuel tank on this side. Okay, so next up here is some landing gear. I'm just gonna put this one over here and another one on the other side. This will make it so your ship can land smoothly when you go to touch down. Also gonna put some legs in the back over here. Bam, cool. Let's go ahead and add some more. Next up here are the grab drives. This allows your ship to jump to other star systems. You can upgrade them to increase your jump range. So the better your grab drives, the further you're gonna be able to fast travel. So engine is important, and so are good grab drives. Keep in mind, you're only supposed to have one grab drive. So yeah, this is good enough. Now let's go ahead and go to flight check. It states that we have one error going on, which by the way, we can see flight check the bottom right there. So it states that the ship is missing a reactor. Also, caution ship is missing a shield, and it has low mobility, and it's missing weapons, etc, etc. But most importantly, to be able to even fly this ship, we gotta take care of the red. So yeah, it's missing a reactor. So next up here, let's go ahead and add a reactor. It's totally up to you what reactor you want. This provides power to all of your ship's systems. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one, keeping it simple, and I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now, technically our ship is flyable, but there are five warnings going on that we need to take care of. So it's missing a shield. Let's go ahead and add a shield. You can add multiple shields. It's not the same as a grab drive. You're able to add multiple of these. I'm just going to add this, flip it on the side. I'm just gonna put it at the top up here, I guess. Okay. You can see how much shield power your ship has at the top left, by the way, in case you're curious. Of course, the more shields, the stronger your shield power is gonna be, or the better shield that you have. Anywho. Next up, it says we have low mobility right now. We need to reduce mass or add some more engines to improve mobility. So let's do that. Put one in the back. Is that good enough? Yep, that was good enough. Okay, now it's missing weapons. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add some weapons. Just navigate over to weapons and voila. Let's add some of these. You can see the different stats on these weapons at the left over here. Like certain kinds of weapons do more shield damage etc and etc. There's all kinds of different weapons you can choose from. And before I add weapons, I'm actually going to go to structural. And this is basically a bunch of cosmetics, but you can attach weapons and shields to these cosmetics too. Gives you more uh, working room to add stuff. Also makes it so your you know ship isn't just uh, square. Okay, that looks good. Let's add some wings to it. Put the same one on the other side. Okay, now let's add something at the top there too. Not bad, not bad. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some weaponry. Put that there, 
Another one over here. Play another one over here. And something like this in the front. Okay. Oh, it states we have an error now. What's going on? Ship has weapons that must be assigned to a group. So in order to do that, we just go over to weapons. You can see at the top there, we just press RB. And yeah, we can assign the weaponry. All right, so yeah, now we got that going. I'm gonna add missiles too. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Now the only thing that's looking a little rough with this ship is the mass, 477, and the cargo at a measly 200. In order to increase your cargo, you just go to the cargo, and yeah, this will make it so you can have more on your ship. So now our cargo is looking good, but our mobility is not no more. We got a lot of weight going on, so we'll need to add some more engines to work that out. All right, so now our jump range is looking red. Let's get a better grab drive going. Okay, good enough. Our mass is heavy, but it's still flyable. You can also change the color of your ship pieces too, if that's something you may be interested in. As you can see at the options down there, I can click in the stick to change the color of the different pieces if you want. You can change the color of everything. There's all kinds of different choices to choose from. That You could literally sink hours upon hours into shipbuilding in this game. I'm just keeping it simple with this one. So as you see, I spent a total of 58k on this ship, which isn't bad at all. So yeah, there we go. Now, to accept what you have built, you just simply press B and then press A. You can make it your home ship by pressing start, and this is the one that you'll fly with now. Also, real quick, I forgot to show you all this. How you can change up the name of your ship to whatever you want. You just go to flight check by pressing the menu button. Then as you see at the bottom right, it states that we can tap X to rename the ship. So yeah, just name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna just call it Raffolian, because why not? That's my ship. All right. <laughs> Here we go. The Raffolian in action. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what this bad boy looks like in person. Oh yeah. Freaking awesome. Let's check out the inside of it. So cool. Haha. <laughs> Man, shipbuilding is so intricate in this game. Anyways, next up, I'm going to be showing y'all real quick how to purchase ships. Anyways, next up, I'm going to be showing y'all how to repair your ship and purchase uh, different ships. All you got to do is go up to a ship services technician. And as you can see here, we can choose to repair our ship for a thousand credits. And we can also purchase ships right here, choosing this option. Let me see what ships you have for sale. So yeah, there's a bunch of different ships that you can purchase. For a price, of course. You can see the price at the bottom left. This one's worth 238000 And keep in mind, there's different ships that you can buy from different ship services technicians at different uh, major cities. This is just the ships you can purchase at New Atlantis. Also, real quick, in case you're curious on how you can add more crew to your ship, uh, there's a skill that you can invest in in social. If you go to Ship Command, as you can see, you can have up to four active members on your ship at rank one and rank two you can have five rank three you can have six and rank four you can have up to eight active crew members on your ship and by the way it's also important to know that uh cockpits do play an importance on how many members you can have on your ship as well there's not many options available at new atlantis but i'm gonna go ahead and show you all this real quick as you can see if i hover over 
my cockpit, it states that there are two crew stations on this one. Of course, the higher crew stations that you have within your cockpit, the more crew members that become available on there. Like for example, if you travel over to Neon, which is located in the Vali system, and then head to Vali Alpha planet, here you can find Neon, and the ship services technician will sell a good cockpit you can use to increase your crew size. Once again, you're still going to have to invest into ship command to make it so you're able to have four crew members on your ship at least. Like I mentioned before, there's different ships that you can purchase, but there's also better things that you can purchase too within the ship builder. So yeah, check out these Viking cockpits. You can have four crew members in these. Delete this old cockpit, add this one. Actually made my mass a little better, nice. But yeah, there you have it. Now, technically I could have four crew members on this spaceship once I invest into the ship command skill. But yeah, I guess that's wrapping up this video. Hope you all found this ultimate guide over ships enjoyable and it was able to help you out in some kind of way. I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.